welcome to another episode of To The Point Tutorials, a series that bypasses all the fluff and focuses on what you really want to know. Let's begin. Today we're going to share with you how to spice up your academic materials with some creative visuals. I chose PictoChart. You can create an account for free by using your email address. I've done that already, so I'm going to sign in. Once in, you have access to your dashboard. My dashboard already has four visuals. Uh, five visuals is the limit if you don't have the pro version. Of course, you have to pay for the pro version. So every time that I reach five visuals, I delete one in order to be able to come to the left upper corner and create a new one. I also have access to several templates. I have infographics, presentations, posters, reports, flyers, etc. I'm going to use the the posters and I'm going to choose one of the templates so you can see me um, modify it and use it in a creative way that will uh, support your academic endeavors. So I'll use template and I already have some stuff prepared of course, you need to prepare it beforehand. I went to my text edit and I have a small programming exercise as you can see here. Um, I'm going to select it and press Control C to copy and then I'm going to hide this. So what I'm going to do now is start uh, addressing the poster in a way that I can use for an assessment brief for example or um, an exercise sheet. In this case it's going to be just an exercise sheet. Um, so I'll just choose uh, one of the boxes and they are very easy to edit. You just click once and you make the selection and then you can of course um, copy paste um, the, the question that I took from my text edit. I'm going to select everything. I could also use command A and then it's pretty similar to Word document. I go up here and I just choose the color. Um, I'm going to go with white. I think it looks a bit better and um, I can just select and drag it because I have stuff from the old template that I don't really want. I can um, rearrange it in an optimum way and see how it, it looks. It doesn't look great yet. So I'm going to do command A to select everything and just put it to my left. Um, I can start rearranging it uh, in a way that looks a little bit tidier. Uh, and I think this looks uh, legit now. And I don't really need here this, this sentence. Instead of having my, my logo here, I can actually put um, the name of my course or my name as an instructor. Uh, but I'm just gonna keep it simple um, and just copy paste this one because I wanna create something different here and indicate that this is exercise one. And yeah, there you go. You have created an assessment brief or um, an exercise sheet um, without too much trouble. And you can implement this in your in your Moodle page. Um, you can add stuff, obviously. If you go to um, the left hand side, you can see shapes and icons, and it's everything's pretty easy to use. You can just um, drag and drop and it will be implemented in um, in the poster or assessment brief that you are trying to um, to create for your students. So this looks pretty neat right now. You can change a little bit or rearrange a little bit uh, the elements that you have. I don't really like this line. I'm just going to delete it. And I think this looks pretty cool already. I hope you agree with me. And if you want to add some illustrations, um, you have a bunch of them here. Um, if you want to add design components, you, you have lists and timelines, etc. You can change the background uh, by, by toggling these, these buttons over here and you can add text if you, if you want to add something different. But because I already used um, a template, um, I already had some of these elements that I could rearrange. And, and so this exercise one um, assessment sheet, let's call it like that, um, can be now um, saved. If we go to upper right corner, um, you press save and you save successfully your, your visuals. Um, you can preview it if you want. Um, and it's just basically um, 
kills the menus on the left so you can see everything that you've done um, thus far. You can exit preview again uh, by clicking the upper right corner button and then you can download or share. By sharing you get to use uh, a link and you need to toggle this in order to make the link uh, public. I'm not going to do that. Um, and if you don't want to share it in such a way, you can just download it. Because it's the free version, you can only download it as a PNG in normal or medium um, quality. So I would go with medium, press download as PNG. It says here on the upper right corner that it's generating the PNG file. And this may take a little bit of time. And if you go now down to the lower left corner, you can see that uh, my visual is downloaded. And you can, using the Mac, press space bar, because I'm always using a Mac here. And you have this um, poster done. Um, it does say that it's powered by PictoChart down here, but there's a small trick you can use. You um, click the file and you can just using my um, preview on the Mac and you have something similar, I believe, in the PC. You just select what you want to keep and you go tools, press crop and you just keep the um, poster in a nice, tidier, neater way without having PictoCharts logo there. And then you just command S or command save and you're good to go. It's ready for you to print, it's ready for you to send over emails, ready for you to put it on your Moodle page. Um, so that's a wrap. I hope that you enjoyed this episode. See you next time.